Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am combining some of my very favorite things. <laughs> Ombre stamping, hot foiling, die cutting. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. And I am celebrating the brand new Essentials by Ellen release available exclusively at ellenhudson.com. And I'm gonna start my project out with this Hey You hot foil plate. This is brand new. All of the products this month are kind of themed around birthday and celebration, which I think is so much fun. I've placed this hot foil plate onto my Gemini foil press. I have it set at medium heat. I'm using some champagne glimmer foil over that and Concord and Ninth white cardstock because I find that that is one of the best cardstocks for heat foiling. So I set my timer for a minute and once that was done, I removed the platform from the base and ran that through my Gemini Junior and that pressed that beautiful foil image onto my cardstock. Now I'm gonna combine this with the Hey You stamp set and I'm gonna use the thicker, more bold version of this. If you don't have hot foiling available to you, you could create a similar card using just the stamp set and you could start by heat embossing with gold embossing powder, that really fine line of the Hey You stamp set and then ombre stamping over the top of it just like I'm doing here. Now this is a big, bold stamp, and I really wanted to make sure the surface was prepped for ink before I started stamping right over the top of my beautiful foiled image. So I'm just taking some time to prep my stamp with my fingertips, with a baby wipe, with a microfiber cloth, and then I'm going to start adding ink onto this stamp. And I'm starting out with Catherine Pooler. This is Coral Cabana, I believe. I've added that onto the top of my stamp, and then I just softened that line of ink with a blending brush. Now that's gonna help the colors kind of blend into each other and give me a really nice, beautiful blended look when I combine all of these colors together. Now I've moved on to my next color of ink, and this is the do, -Si -Do ink from Catherine Pooler. I am adding it to the next section of my stamp, just with the edge of the stamp pad there. And then once again, I'm gonna soften that line of ink with a blending brush, just kind of tapping along that line to kind of blur it out a little bit so you don't get these harsh lines. And then I'm gonna stamp right over the top again. Now, because I'm using my Misty stamping tool, I can stamp in the same place multiple times. And I made sure that that solid stamp was really nice and lined up over my foiled image before I started this. Now I'm moving on to the apricot ink from Catherine Pooler, adding that to the next section of the stamp, softening the line with a blending brush, and then just stamping again. And you can see the beautiful blended ombre look that I'm getting with all of these inks. Now the next ink that I'm using is the Catherine Pooler Lemongrass ink, using the same technique again as I mentioned before. Now I have to tell you, I did not love the way that the apricot and the lemongrass kind of blended together. It kind of got a little bit muddy. But in the end, I think overall, this was a beautiful look. It's a really fun ombre rainbow here, and I'm finishing off my ombre rainbow with a little bit of Concord and Ninth Aqua Sky ink. This is a favorite of so many people that love Concord and Ninth colors, and I just used that same technique again, and you can see I have that beautiful blended ombre stamping right over that hot foil. Now to make sure that I don't have any ink sitting on the hot foil, which didn't seem to be a problem, but I'm just gonna double check and make sure that I kind of wipe away any ink that is setting on top of the hot foil with my microfiber cloth. Now I decided I wanted to die cut these letters, but this is kind of a solid die and I really did not wanna mess it up at this point. So what I've done is I've taken the Hey You die set and I've die cut it from a contrasting color of cardstock. I am going to hold that in place with either some washi tape or this happens to be the Spellbinders Best Ever Craft Tape. I'm just holding the negative portion in place so that I can make sure that it's lined up where I want it. Then I'm gonna nestle the die into that negative die cut and run this all through my die cut machine and that helps me get this die perfectly aligned on these stamped and foiled letters. So I have a perfect die cut here. I'm going to pop them all out and make sure that I keep them in order because there are a couple Y's in this and I want to make sure that I have the right blend on each Y. 
Now, I also decided I wanted to add some dimension to these letters. So I am die cutting this Hey You die set from some Nina Solar White heavyweight cardstock. I'm going to die cut it about two or three times and I'm going to adhere these layers together to give it a really thick kind of chipboard type appearance. And I'm doing this with a little bit of liquid glue. Now, I love the Barely Arts liquid glue. So I'm just adding a little bit of that to each layer and then stacking them on top of each other. And I'm going to finish this stack with that hot foiled and stamped H on the top. And I'm going to repeat this for all the letters in the sentiment. And while it seems like this might take a little while, it really doesn't. And I love the look that it gives. Now, if you don't want to do this, you could absolutely use some foam adhesive instead. That's a total option, or you could have just left it on the card front as it was. It was beautiful that way too. Now I have to tell you, one of my newest obsessions is the Concord and Ninth Nectar cardstock. And so I have a little bit of that cardstock here. I've die cut it using one of the Essential by Ellen Essential Rectangles. So I have a panel here and I'm just kind of making sure I love this color combo and I do. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the brand new Sprinkles stencils from the Essentials by Ellen line. Yes, they finally have stencils. And this is a four piece set that has different kind of layers of sprinkles and confetti that you can use on their own or layer them together to create different looks. And I'm just using a little bit of the Concord and Ninth Nectar ink on top of this Nectar cardstock for this first layer. And for the second layer, I am using a really light coat of the Catherine Pooler do -Si do So it's just a little bit more pink than the Nectar or the Apricot ink that we used earlier. And I'm just kind of layering up a couple of these stencils. I'm not really worried about aligning them perfectly because it's sprinkles and confetti. I mean, you can't mess that up. <laughs> So now it's time to adhere my dimensional letters to my card front. And I wanna make sure that I get them in the right kind of alignment, like the die cuts them. And so I'm using that negative portion of the die cut again, and I'm holding it in place right over my card front with a little bit of that crafter's tape there. And I'm just adding some liquid glue and nestling those into the openings. And that's gonna give me perfect alignment. And while those kind of dry, I will place an acrylic block over the top to make sure that they make great contact with my card front. And once that's dried, I'll go ahead and lift off this negative portion. And now I have all of these die cuts perfectly in place on my card front. Now this is absolutely beautiful as it is, but I thought let's just add one more little bit to kind of dress this up. So I'm using the HB2U stamp set. This was released about a year ago or a year and a half ago, I think, from the Essentials by Ellen line as a gift with purchase, but now it's available for purchase. So I'm using this little Celebrate Sentiment, and this time they've released the coordinating dies, which I absolutely love. I've stamped that in some Aqua Sky ink onto some white cardstock, die cut it out, added a couple of plain white layers behind it, to give it some dimension. And I'm finishing off this card front using some sparkling clear sequins. And that little embellishment wand that I'm using is from Pink Fresh Studio. It is absolutely fabulous. It has an embellishment tip on one end and kind of a pokey tool on the other end, but it has a really nice ball point so you don't, you know, poke yourself. <laughs> So I finished this off, I added a little foam adhesive behind that card front, added it onto an A2 size white card base, and that finishes off my fun and festive birthday card featuring some of my favorite techniques, hot foiling, rainbows, ombre stamping. I mean, does it get any better than that? <laughs> Now, as always, I will have links to the featured products used in this project in the description at YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, be sure you check there. Or you can head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. I'll have that linked below as well. Over there, you'll find more still shots, more information, and a complete list of supplies. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram. This project is a part of an Instagram hop, and there's tons of inspiration prizes and more. So be sure to head on over there for a little more fun. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my paper crafting and card making video tutorials. Thanks again for watching and until next time, 
I hope you have a fabulous day.